Hi, my name is Sadeep Sao and I'm a product manager here at Xiaomi. Now, not many of you might know this, but MIUI was the first product that I experienced uh, from Xiaomi. And this is our first version in 2010. And MIUI has come a long way ever since. In the, in the span of eight years, we have had nine different versions. Just last year, we launched the MIUI 9 here in India. And this was particularly, fo uh, particularly uh, we had speed uh, focus for this uh, MIUI version. And you guys really loved it. And today I'm really excited to announce the 10th edition of our MIUI here in India. And there are four key areas that I'm gonna be sharing with you for MIUI 10. First is speed, second is design, third is sound and AI portraits. All right, so in MIUI 9, we had half a dozen of system optimization. Now, all of this was to make sure MIUI is as fast as ever. In MIUI 10, we're introducing two more uh, critical system optimization, namely lock-free critical path and codependent prioritizing. Now, this ensures that the overall smoothness of MIUI has increased over 10% of the predecessor version. Now, you might be wondering how fast this really is in the real world. So let's take, do a comparison. We're taking the Redmi Note 5 with MIUI 10 and the Samsung J7, uh, uh, J7 Duo phone. To do the speed test, uh, what we do in the lab is we run all this application and we calculate which application opens first. And uh, we obviously do this under high speed camera. So let's take a look at the video. As you saw in the video, Redmi Note 5 Pro with MIUI 10 opened 23 apps versus a 7 from the competitor. That's almost three times more application which was opened faster and quicker. So with MIUI 10, we are taking one step further and we will continue to keep uh, speed as the focus for all the MIUI version in the coming days. So next, let's talk about design, my favorite section. So ever since we have launched the Mi Mix in, uh, in the world, the entire mobile industry has moved to a full screen era. Now at MIUI, the whole design team has been rethinking how to change our operating system to adapt to this new change. Now this is a huge challenge for all of us here because every single change that we make is touched by millions of people who use MIUI every single day. So the, what we did is, the first step, we got rid of the hardware buttons and we introduced the soft keys. But still we think this is not the full optimum usage of the full screen displays. For that, we, we had full screen just, uh, display gestures where we replaced the three key Android keys with uh, respective gestures. To, do, to go to home screen, all you have to do is swipe from the bottom and to go back, swipe from the edges and swipe from bottom and hold it to go to the recent view. Now, a lot of you guys really loved it, and trust me, once you start using gestures on phone, be it on application and especially on MIUI 10, you just can't go back. Uh, in fact, I toggle between a lot of phones uh, every single day, and sometimes I just miss this feature uh, for other phones also. We also have uh, looked at the evolution of the aspect ratios. Now, Earlier phones used to come in 16 to 9, and today we also have 19 to 9 for, uh, ratio. If you look at the top, uh, we have a lot of screen space. Uh, the phones are getting taller and taller every single day. And this is one area we, want, we wanted to improve. To take example, for example, uh, the iOS, the stock Android, and our own MIUI. Now with this view, it's fine, it's, it's okay, it does the job, but it has horizontal stacks, so you can only see one card at a time. Also, if you notice on the top and the bottom, there's a lot of space which is kind of unused. So in MIUI 10, we are completely redesigning our recent view, and we look for inspiration none other than our own Notes app. So if you look at the Note app, Notes app, you see what, you have, uh, what we have done here with this animation. So we beautifully stack all the cards and you can swipe instead of horizontally, vertically, which I think is more natural. Not only that, you can also swipe to remove the task or long press for quick shortcuts like split view. So 
that's the brand new recent screen. We didn't stop at redesigning just uh, recent view. We also looked at our own design language. Now these are some of the older device phones with a forehead and a chin. And this design kind of looks fine, but if you take it to a full screen device, you'll notice there is a strong sense of segregation with block design and bold colors. So in MIUI 10, we are redesigning our complete uh, operating system. We are removing some of the unwanted extra decoration and visual clutters, and we are restructuring the whole layout and regrouping the items based on the type. So now, the MIUI 10 notification calendar and weather app looks completely new. It's, it's, it's fresh and crisp. Uh, we have done that across the system. These are some of the examples. We have weather app with beautiful animation. We have calendar which looks super clean. Uh, we have also redesigned our home screen the lock screen, we have voice memo in notes app, which is really cool, and my personal favorite, the clock app, it's an all black theme. So that's MIUI 10, designed for a full screen experience with keeping in mind the new aspect ratios, which is ever evolving. Next, let's talk about sound. Now, this is kind of also always overlooked because sound is not part of a design, but we at Xiaomi think sound is a part of design and very key element. And to be honest, sound kind of makes it tired because you have tons of application and you, guess you could keep getting bombarded with a ton of notifications. So we thought to look at nature sound because nature sound never stops inspiring. It's kind of very soothing. Now you might ask me why nature sound? Uh, that's the reason because nature sound is very pleasant and no matter how long or how often you listen to this nature sound, your ears never get fatigued or burned out. Let's take an example of water droplets. Uh, listen carefully to the different tones of water droplets here. So we are using the same water droplet as our default notification in MIUI 10. So next time, when you get a notification on your phone, you'll hear this. And in case you keep, uh, if you get multiple notification, just, just like the water droplets. <laughs> and together, if you get a ton of notification, you have a nice rhythm and a tone to it. As the saying goes, no two leaves are alike. No two notification sound in MIUI are the same. This is another example we took, the sound of a breeze in, in a desert. So next time when you delete anything in MIUI, you will hear this, which is built right into the core of the system. In this example, I deleted a notes app with two finger swipe gesture, but even if you delete a photo from a gallery app, you will hear the same soothing sound. Now we have been uh, exploring and collecting a ton of these sound in our library. So we thought of doing something more. So in MIUI 10, we are introducing the ambient noises of nature. And this you can find in a timer app. Now you might wonder why introduce this in a timer app. To be honest, um, these ambient noises can help you relax and focus, or also during meditation or a yoga session. Uh, personally, I use it to focus on work when I have to do multitasking, or if you go on a code sprint for like an hour or two, I think this will help a lot. You should check it out. So in MIUI 10, we are having few of these ambient noises built in. The first one is the beach. Uh, we also have forest. Uh, this is especially good. Uh, actually, I put this on my timer last night when I went back to sleep late. We also have drizzle, uh, which signifies the monsoon and helps you really relax and focus. So that's the sound. Uh, we have used nature sound and ambient noises built right into the system of MIUI 10. R up next is AI portraits. Okay. To be frank uh, and honest, AI, uh, sorry, the portrait mode in a dual camera has completely changed the way we take pictures and the amount of pictures we take every day. Um, and I think everyone knows how this works already. Um, so it, the primary lens basically keeps the subject in focus and the secondary lens keeps the, uh, identifies the depth in the scene. And it creates a beautiful bokeh effect. But the real question is, can you do the same in a single lens camera? Or in this case, a me fan asked me, 
can we do this on a Redmi phone? Because that's what people are buying a lot these days here in India. So of course the answer is yes, using our deep algorithms, uh, learning algorithms, we ran this over hundreds and thousands of photos, and now we can achieve similar portrait mode even on a single camera lens. For example here, we have taken Redmi Note 4, this is a front camera, and with Mi i10, you can get such bokeh and clear effects. Uh, this also works in low light and indoor conditions. This is on a Redmi Note 3. Again, this was a phone which was launched two years back. And with Mi i10, we can achieve very similar or uh, high quality selfie portraits. Not just self, uh, you know, front camera, we can also do it on the rear camera. So this is a phone, uh, this is Redmi Note 5 Pro, taken uh, without the Mi i10. And with Mi i10, we can achieve beautiful bokeh mode with true depth details. Uh, this is another example, Redmi Note 4's rear camera and MIUI can 10 do magic uh, with its MIUI AI portraits. So we are introducing this first on all the supported device, uh, first on the front camera, and then we'll move and introduce it to the rear cameras. All right, let's talk about India customization. Just a refresher, we announced Mi Music uh, last month with association with Hangama. We have over 10 million high quality soundtracks and my favorite, the dynamic lyrics for the perfect karaoke night sessions. We also introduced Mi Video on the same day, which has over 500,000 hours of content uh, from all the content partners that have partnered with us for Mi TV. So same content on your phone. Now, uh, next is browser. Now, browser is one of the most used uh, application on, on, on your system. And in MIUI 10, we are introducing something called app section. Now, when you click, at the app, uh, when you click on the app section, you have all the local services uh, categorized under utility, shopping, travel, entertainment, and news. Now, these are not native app, but they are progressive web apps. Uh, progressive web apps has a lot of advantages. Uh, you can get notification, you can create shortcuts, and it behaves almost as close to native uh, Android app experience. For example, let's take Flipkart, book my show, and make my trip. If you click on any of those links, you will see the exact experience, what you will find when you install the app from a Play Store. So all, this, sorry, so all the services that you need are only a single tap away, no matter if you want to book ticket, or your hotel, flight tickets, or shop, if you want to shop or book a movie tickets, all stacked up in one place so that you can easily um, access the services. Up next is digital payment. Now, a lot of you guys have moved over to a digital transaction. Personally, I don't keep any cash in my uh, wallet these days. And you see a lot of these PTM QR codes. So you want to do something on that in MIUI 10. So, yeah. So we are introducing a quick shortcut from a camera app. Now, you might wonder why a camera app. Camera app is always accessible uh, no matter where you are in the phone. It's always a tap away or even a swipe away on the lock screen. So next time you see a QR code, just open the camera and scan the QR code with one tap. We will redirect you to the application to complete the payment. Next up, the last thing is messaging. Messaging has been a key focus for us at MIUI for a couple of years. Back in 2016, we introduced something called the SMS sender ID. Now we gave the unknown sender IDs a name and a logo and Mi fans absolutely loved it. And I'm very happy to announce that as of last month, we can identify up to 65% of all the messages under notification folder. That means two out of all the three messages we can already identify in MIUI 10. But we wanted to do something more. Now this is a regular message from ICICI Bank, and I don't think I will ever reply to ICICI saying, hey, what's up, right? So what we're doing is we're removing the reply button, and we're introducing something called the quick menu. Now this quick menu is contextual. For example, this is a bank message, so I would like to do some bank transactions. So if I click on the ICICI button, I can go to the app or the official website, or if I want to find the nearest ATM, I can just click nearby, and it'll take me and do an automatic search on on Google Maps. Similarly, we have built this for different services. And again, if you notice, no two quick menu is the same. It's all contextual and differs from, uh, from services to services. And when you click, you can find the service that you need with just a single tap, right from your messaging app. So in MIUI 10, we'll be supporting over 100 such services. And over a period of time, with the help of MiFans, we will add more and more to it. So that's uh, MIUI 10. It's designed for a full screen experience, keeping in mind the new aspect ratios. 
Um, we also have a video to summarize what we spoke about. Let's take a look. of the overall operating system. We have created, uh, redesigned the whole operating system, keeping in mind the new age full screen and the new aspect ratios. Uh, we have embedded nat nature, sound, and ambient noises across the system. Uh, we also are introducing AI portrait, which, both, which works both for a single lens and a dual lens, and a lot of India customization specific for me fans here in India. So you might be wondering, when are you getting this on your device? So this is a plan. Uh, we'll be rolling out the beta in June for all these devices, and it, this includes all the global devices also. And over a period of time, we will introduce in the stable build uh, in future. So with that, I would ask Manu to come back on stage. Thanks so much.